Hello everyone, my name is Ken May, and today in Fire Emblem Heroes, we are here for a new summoning session. This time around, we are going to summon on something that is going to be obsolete in two years. Uh, yes, uh, I'm finally back from my little weekend away, and uh, I might be slightly salty. But we are here with our newest legendary unit, which is actually Shaz. Uh, mail shares. So we got a lot of avatars already done. Uh, I mean, who do we got left now? Uh, Mark and uh, the Chris's? Yeah, not a lot of uh, not a lot of candidates yet. So um, as you can see, we have two very distinct colors. We are going to summon on Nurgle is high, but only because Nerthus is low. Uh, we are mainly going to snipe red and blue here. Um, I do hope I have enough orbs, and I'm going to be honest, uh, I'm not even sure I would buy a pack. Uh, if I, if I notice I won't be able to get the spark by sniping, I will adjust, and then, uh, well, I would adjust accordingly. But I really doubt, uh, that uh, we're going to have any trouble with blue and red, right? So, uh, before we go, we, we're just going to, to test the luck with the Sunday banners. Uh, let me check, who am I going to start with? Um, let's start, well, with this one. On this one, I would really like either a Lian or a Nyla, so either blue or colorless. Well, um, let's test colorless. It's been a long while since I've gotten any Lian, so I want one. I won't have one. <laughs> All right, Brady. Uh, then we're going to do the next one. Whoop. I'm over here. Uh, on this banner, Marita maybe. Marita Mamori. Yeah, green or green or red. Let's go grab the green. So, why are we, we doing that? Um, since I was away, I did ask... Uh, I, I asked you um, to ask me some questions. So, we're mainly going to do that during the session proper. But... Um, I mean, I know I need to address it. Uh, okay, on here. Green if I can. Let's go. Uh, I know I'm going to address it because um, it kind of came out of nowhere. And um, nobody was expecting it. Uh, th they did make a huge announcement uh, regarding the rotation of um, the rotation of. Uh, uh, sorry for that. <laughs> they did make a change with the rotation of um, of legendary heroes, and um, I am team. You you are putting your game in hell mode right now. You're just wanting people to go away with that. So I did send my little constructive... Uh, I did send my little constructive feedback. We'll see what happened. But clearly, that doesn't incentivize me to go in this session. And more so, like, if they do that with legendaries, uh, Mythics, you know Mythics, you are the next one to go, you know, to go down this path. So, uh, let's go. Maybe above the town? Well, this is a perfect good circle. A perfect good circle. A perfectly good. A perfect first circle. Let's see. Okay. Off to a strong start. Yeah. Plus res Ellie Wood. He has a super boon, I think. I recall him having uh, something useful with res. Well, he has a lot of res, so... But yeah, without further ado, let's answer the questions I have, uh, because I do have quite a few, uh, and quite a few to ponder upon. Most of the questions are in relation to Three Hopes, and so I'm going to... to, to to say it right away, I have not played Three Hopes, and clearly, um, I don't have a lot of information on 
uh, sheds. So sadly, my impression on him, uh, he looks nice. I'm sure, I'm sure I'm going to like him more being in Heroes, because I will get to know him more, than really playing the game, right? So, let's start with Rebel 53. In Three Hopes, which outfit you like better than in Three Houses? And also, what would can make look like as a legendary hero? Thank you for the question. Um, I think, design-wise... Very good circle again. Um, design-wise, I think... Hilde really struck me. I mean, one of the reasons I wanted to plus the and ascended Hilde is her design. Uh, but other than that, um, I think I'm part of the few that really like Ingrid's haircut. Because uh, it changes. Maybe not in a good... Okay! Rebel with the lucky question. Thank you! Because, uh, sweetie, you're going into hell. Uh, you're going into, uh, uh, you're never coming back here, so I'm really glad you're coming. Just like Deirdre. Isn't that cute? Uh, but yeah, uh, Hilde was one I really enjoyed. Um, uh, Ingrid, even though I would put that a bit lower. Um, who else? Thing is, I didn't, uh, I didn't search, so right off the bat. Maybe I prefer Dimitri's haircut. The in the three hopes time skip. I, I I would I would say Hilda for sure. Hilda for sure. Uh and what would wow what's with the what's with the good circles? I do like that. Um what would I look like as a legendary hero? A few years back when uh, ascended units were a thing, I actually designed uh, I actually designed a little something, and uh, so here it was. It looks like, if you notice, this is actually the design you can see on. Whoa! That's nice. All right. C can we get a shares? I'm, I'm getting ready. I know, but uh, all right. Very well. Um, but yeah, you might have noticed this is uh, this. In, I, I, I won't dare say this is an interesting design, but this is a design I used for my CYL thumbnail. Uh, I, I got it back out of the drawers. But Ascended Kanmei would look like that. Maybe legendary as well? But uh, overall, I think I would be a healer, because I really... I don't know, I, I have a vibe with healers. I mean, most people associate me with uh, Elincia, but really... I'm a sick. I'm a silk girl. Okay. First very lousy circle. Okay, so that was our 51st question. Very lucky indeed. So let's go with um going back, diving in. Let's go with Michael E. Michael E's question. I was going to read the, the numbers and all I decided against it. So, I've been playing around with the idea of dual wielding units that can take a turn to switch between weapon types and a different skill set. Uh, like, for example, Kinchi Knight in Oka using a lance or a bow, or Awakened Byleth using uh, the sword or a gauntlet. What units would you have as the first dual wielder, and what weapon would they have? To be a cannon to the game or something original for them? Uh, as a character to try out. This is a very interesting question, and I think this could be a type of unit they could introduce because they... I think they could introduce it with duos. Because with duos, we already have this, uh, this little idea of... There would be a reason to have two type of sets, and... Even more so with the pair-up mechanic, because with the pair-up mechanic, you, you have two different units. But indeed, you could you could have two sets you could swap. So, what kind of unit would I want to see there? That's a really good question. I didn't give it that much thought, you know, into picking the character. But overall, I would say it would be a nice evolution of uh, duo heroes. So maybe, well, you know what? Maybe actually Elincia. Elincia as uh, both 
uh, a staff and a sword unit, or 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 the shadows of Valentia's character, Selika and Olm, you know, uh, famously both use uh, either a sword and a tome, or or um, an, a sword and a bow for uh, Selika and Olm, respectively. Sorry, it it took me quite some time to actually blurt it out, but uh, I think. I think it could be interesting, but mostly I'm thinking of characters that, you know, actually wield different weapons. So, I, I would need to theory craft, and uh, I, I did not have the time to do that recently, so... Sorry that uh, that question that was a bit underwhelming, and uh, the game is punishing me with that. But, uh, let's dive right into the next question. Okay, Cordelia. Uh, connection... Oh, uh, connection. Sorry. Um, question is from Krakos. Did you play Android Three Hopes? If so, which was your favorite character to use? Well, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I actually didn't play uh, Three Houses or Three Hopes. So, the, that's, uh, that's a big... Uh, I, I must admit, I, I, I know I've, I've admitted to that quite a few times already, but I, I'm a Paul, um, I'm a, I'm not a real Fey fan, because uh, really the only Fey game I've played, Effie, more than Fey, the only Effie game I've played so far, uh, in full, is um, is Shadows of Valentia. So, yeah, but I'm. It's a really good question. Who would I, who would I think I would enjoy using? Uh, most likely some healers and some um, some dancers maybe. Funnily enough, I did uh, my my uh, fae in, um, in Shadows of Valentia wasn't uh, a dancer, so I haven't used dancer in Shadows of Valentia. But I I, I do enjoy dancers in fae uh, in heroes, so maybe anyone I could put as a as a dancer. Okay, uh, clearing the barracks. Be right back. And we are back. We have um, exactly 15 summons to go. And uh, we are going to go with the fourth question. We, we did go fast. Um, let's do that. Mm. Yes, let's do this pattern. Um, next question comes from Ice Angel, who asks... Uh, mm, well, since Shaz is the legendary hero for this banner, what are your thoughts of him from Fairy Hopes? If you haven't played it, well, from watching gameplay, walkthrough, or anything like that. Um, so from basically, Shaz, from what I saw from Fae, um, I think it's pretty sad, but I think I kind of like Shaz. I, I kind of like Shaz, um, mostly because of his relationships. Uh, you know, I like them in relationships to other characters. For example, I like Shaz because it brings this... Okay. You might have seen that. It, w it will mostly be blurred, I think. I don't know. Because last time I thought uh, you, you could all see my interaction with uh, Rebel, but uh, eventually you, you couldn't, so... <clears throat> but, um... But an Ike! Alright! I'll take it. Um... I like that, um, okay, I like that uh, Shez helps us see more why a Byleth is called the Ashen Demon. She's called, uh, they are called the Demon, if I recall correctly, so, yep. Uh, I also like, um, I also like the, the little I saw of, um, Shez relationships. Shaz's relationship with uh, Arvo, I find quite interesting. I really like the design. I well, it it took me time to enjoy it, but I really like the design of uh, maybe more the um, what we got as the legendary version of Shaz, and and um, the and the markings that uh, that comes out when uh, Arvo actually comes out. I'm not sure he's, they're coming out, but uh, manifesting. Ooh, okay. Shez, big time. 
So yeah, I'm pretty positive towards Chaz. Uh, even even if uh, people were outraged by uh, by the hair color for a time, I think I think I recall that. Yeah, because it was very saturated, which I do enjoy. But uh, I can see the point in not liking that. But uh, yep, really like that. All right, so we we're going to end with a big question because it is asked by. I was going to say a big YouTuber, but um, yes, yes, I will say that by a Facebooker that you might already know, which is KCB Brian. Okay, so one Fire Emblem game you would have Nintendo publish a remake of, and one you would have them delete from the franchise forever. Gotta choose one of each. So um, yes, kind of hard, kind of a hard question. I think for remake, for remake, um, I wouldn't mind. Well, I wouldn't mind. I think uh, I would be interested in. I would be interested in the genealogy, uh, the genealogy games, since they are less accessible, more, more dated. I think would be really interesting to see um, as a as a remake. And as for one to go, you knew this one was the one that was going to be hard. I, I know you knew. I know you wanted to put me in a bad spot. Bad. Bad, Brian. But... Um, my first... Into my instinct would be to go with TMS, because apparently Fae doesn't want to use them. Uh, to kill me rush session. But... Um, that's a really good question. If not for fame... Ah, no! I won't be able to summon on all of them. I should have tried to get an orb. Well, that's gotcha for you. Um, I think I would say the... The... Um, uh, Shadow Mystery remakes. Of course not the orange, the first game. But, um... I think... I think the new game, the the remakes that were made, or at least the second one, uh, th they could redo. They, they could actually remake them. And, uh... Because I'm not sure. I say that and I haven't played them, so really what's my... Uh, what value has my opinion? Uh, but I think... I think that would be my pick. Yeah. Um. Do I win? Because we do have those. Hmm. Nope. I won't. Because you know what? You know what? Actually, answering uh, Brian's question reminded me of his goal, and um, if I if I'm mad. Against uh, Faye's choice of uh, about the legendaries, I should not put my money there. So no whaling, we're going out with our shares. Who didn't want to come? But it's all right. We got one. We, we basically got one of each of our top picks, and an emblem Ike, and an emblem Ike, which is very good. Bare, not bare minimum, really good pick, but um. Yep. Yep. I I'm just uh, a little uh, not scared, but I do find his sword very short, which could uh, which could actually you know be a. Uh... Oh, it's a, I I don't know if you can see that, but uh, the I don't know if this is Arvo's influence or just something you can see from there. It does look like Arvo's influence. Like uh, the the little thingies around here. Not sure. What's happening? Oh, it's just the the scarf that uh, hardens. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. But yep, that will be it for this session. Uh, let me know if you had some luck summoning on this banner. If you summoned at all, uh, especially considering what uh, information we got. 
And uh, well, I'm going to wish you luck for any banner or project you have. And thank you for watching again. And until next time, take good care of yourselves, everyone. Bye-bye.